Have you ever wondered why do we put the at sign in our emails? Where did the at sign come from? And who was the first to put it in an email? Well, stick around and find out why. I gotta say, for a character that's so often used, the origins of the at sign is quite unknown. I mean, it's such a random thing to do when you have a letter and you circle around it, right? Well, whatever the origin of the at sign is, we know more about its later usage. Because, believe it or not, it did have a usage before it became a standard key on our keyboard. In recent history, the at sign has been used as a unit in commerce, which meant at the rate of. You've probably heard someone say this when they're giving you their email address. Something like john at the rate of gmail.com. And that probably made you giggle inside. Well, the truth is, they're not entirely wrong. You see, there was a time that the at sign was used during trade and commerce, and it meant price per each unit. For example, if you bought two chickens, it'll be written as two chickens at the rate of $10. That meant the chickens are $10 each. That being said, still the machine age wasn't too kind to the at sign. It took a long time for the at sign to be used regularly. And before we talk about how and when did we end up using the at sign on our emails, don't forget to leave a like or comment. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm as a lot of time goes into making these videos. So, what made us use the at sign in our emails? The first few typewriters that were invented didn't even have the at sign at the keyboard. The character was quite unknown until 1971, when computer scientist Ray Tomlinson was facing a very interesting challenge. How do we let people send messages by using their computers? And by the way, let's not forget that this was way before internet was made available to everyone worldwide. In the email address, he needed to separate the name of the user and the name of the computer that he was using. He was looking for a character that wasn't often used in names. You know, characters like comma or exclamation mark. After looking over his typewriter, he eventually chose the at sign to separate the two. I mean, if someone had the at sign in his name, then he was already in a tough spot. But hey, I digress. And by the way, what made him choose the at sign instead of the other characters? Well, this is what he said. I was looking for a symbol that wasn't used much, and there weren't a lot of options. An exclamation point or a comma. I could have used an equal sign, but that wouldn't have made much sense. He sent a message to himself from one machine to another machine in the same room. Tomlinson says he doesn't remember what he wrote in that first email, and I guess we'll never know. He didn't know it then, but the character would turn into one of the most used characters in the modern world. On the left side of the address, you had the name of the user, and on the right side, you had the name of his computer. It was also an advantage that the at sign signified the word at, and that was suitable for Tomlinson's requirement. That made it easy for the at sign to be used in this manner. For example, if we say send a message to john at gmail.com, in lame terms, that means send a message to someone named John in a location called Gmail. Yeah, I know it sounds dumb today, but hey, it made perfect sense back in the day. Tomlinson had no idea that he was creating such an iconic character in the tech world. He brought a dead character back to life and made it into a symbol of technology. And by the way, did you know that the other languages have different names for the at sign? Yep, I guess calling it the at sign was too hard for them. But here's some of them. And since I don't speak some of these languages, I'm sure I'm gonna butcher some of these pronunciations. So bear with me. In German, other than the real name, they also call it Affenschwanz, which literally means monkey tail. Or in Hebrew, they also call it Shablul, which means snail. Or in Turkish, Kulak which means ear. So what do you call it in your own native language, other than the at sign, of course? Did you have a nickname for it when you saw it for the first time in your life? Personally, I don't even remember what I called it when I was a kid. I just called it the A in a circle. But hey, what did I know at the time? Let me know in the comment section below, but be nice to each other. And if you like these kinds of video, make sure you check out the rest of the channel as well. 